Good morning. It's a Friday, August 13th. Friday the 13th. Um, and I wanted to talk about something that is very uh, personal, very private, that is uh, very relevant to the current situation I'm in. I am legally blind. I have a degenerative eye condition called keratoconus, where um, over time the cornea thins and as it thins and bulges out like a cone the less I'll be able to see it's a cornea disease and it's as if um, let me give you a good example like if you're looking out a window um, through a, a screen door that's soaking wet with rain that's how I see um, I got my diagnosis maybe like five years ago and um, I literally thought it was that my life was over at the time. I was 11 months into a 12 month lease at the uh, Silver Street Studios where I had my uh, business. And um, I was living in Augusta, apartment uh, C205. So I downgraded, had to, uh, not downgrade, but I had to, uh, Consider my finances because uh, the condition doesn't, it's kind of a rare condition and it isn't covered by insurance. So uh, a lot of this stuff is out of pocket, like lenses were $1,500 a lens. I got one for the left eye because it's the eye that I really can't see anything out of. Um, it definitely changed my life and my routines because, uh, um, I really can't drive when it's dark or when it's raining. And I had to come to terms and grapple with this, being a blind woman. Um, the reason that um, I wanted to talk about my character count is because this is an area that they've been able to exploit to their advantage. The first person that I actually met after I got diagnosed was James. And so... Uh, I thought he was my friend, like somebody I can talk to about my condition. But instead of him being my friend, it was one of the worst decisions that I made because he's been able to learn a lot about me. And I was isolated for a year and uh, basically treat me like shit. And it's at the stage for him to start um, stealing from me. Um, one interesting fact was when I went to James's house, uh, I accidentally sat on my glasses and he told me, make sure I have two pairs. And uh, after he promised me that he gonna be down for me through whatever, even the eye shit, he ran game. It wasn't no, uh, I'm just a simp for liking him. This man told me he would be there for me through all of this. So it wasn't like uh, I just fell in love with this man and he wasn't promising me these things. The fact that he had to run game and lie and say he's going to show up in these ways and doesn't says a lot about him and the fact that he's willing to lie and manipulate and steal from somebody who likes them genuinely shows interest in him and that he gets to uh, take advantage and exploit their disability so he could take our student loan money, student loans, and uh, steal from her, literally rob, rob her while she's asleep. And uh, it hurt me when the officer said, when he dropped me off, one of the constables to son, good luck. Knowing that uh, they took the lenses that I had and instead of them replacing them with the right ones, like they did when I went to my aunt's when they made the fire alarm go off, they replaced my lens. <laughs> they stole my prescription sunshades, which I need for my keratoconus. I have really bad light sensitivity to wear. Like I buy, I had to buy uh, blackout curtains. And in the middle of the day, I would go and rest my eyes. And uh, I used to try to explain that to James. But when he came down to visit, he didn't even get it. 
but knowing that he kept me from getting my disability AIDS at school while he was stealing money from me. <laughs> And this is not a delusion. And he went online bragging that, and because I was like, my eyes hurt. Like you, who, who gets off by doing this to somebody that they quote unquote love or care about, or how they allowed to still change my lenses and my glasses and my prescriptions and put her restrictions on my license that I never had just to steal money from me. Steal my debit cards that never came and to uh, actually steal out of my account. They've taken uh, my prescriptions while I slept. Uh, Geek Squad just really like put water all over my little one piece. And I found it down to my knees one day when I woke up and my medication had been changed. I'm tired of this because this is an abuse of a disabled person. And I'm literally afraid because they haven't even stopped letting take it from me. <laughs> my privacy. My eye stuff. My money. And I only went back to school because, you know, I felt like being a blind person, I didn't want nobody being able to take advantage of me. But he was doing that the whole time. And the fact that the police are allowing this and getting in on it. And then just ask me if I'm hearing voices when I'm literally just reporting a crime that they're allowed to do this to a blind person. I don't really talk about my disability <laughs> because at first when I did, I didn't want to be, you know, I, I want to educate people, but then I didn't want to be uh, the blind woman, the blind lady. I wanted to be uh, judged based on my character and my intellect and my work ethic, not my vision. So I stopped telling people and I stopped talking about it. But the fact that uh, they don't care, <laughs> they were putting dirt in my lenses at night so I would wear my glasses so that they could keep listening and spying on me. <laughs> they didn't give a fuck that I couldn't see or that it was hurting my eyes. They even stole my apparatuses. <laughs> No, so I would not be afraid. They willing to uh, cause me to have a miscarriage and be hospitalized three times. <laughs> and change my medicine to where it, it could have killed me. I'm scared to even get the rest of them. So for me to be going through a lot of the stuff that he put me through and uh, for the police just to be like, well, good luck. It's a different kind of pain because who's looking out for me? How, who's going to give me my, my life back? Who's going to stop exploiting me? I'm tired of this. Why won't they stop? Why won't I, they stop? <laughs> One around my birthday, I lost my lenses, and then it just magically appeared on my uh, rug a couple weeks later. Now I know Jermaine has been in my apartment stealing everything, and then they still doing this to me. God. I don't understand.
They don't want me to be alive. They want me to go crazy. But they can do all this to me. I need some help. I need help. I fell down the stairs the other night. Nobody knows what it's like. And for him to go online and mock the fact that I'm like, I need help. Or that my eyes hurt. He mocked me for that. I can't control this. I have a disability in which they've been able to just exploit the fuck out of them and get all kinds of money. And I'm literally afraid because they can do all of this with my car and manipulate my life and just take over my life. Who raised these people? James Patrick Ryan, Sonia Cardenas, Jeff Allen. Jeff Rose and Allen Rose and all of them. Dr. Ashlam, everybody's complicit. Who does this to somebody who lost a child? Who just wanted to graduate? Who does this?